I've forgotten who asked this, but there has been a couple of you saying, what does my Garmin look like? What screen do I have on when I'm running? Well, I've got a Garmin 235, so we're on old technology. I did a few years now, but the screen I use is this. So yeah, just have it on heart rate screen. Not bothered about pace, not bothered about time, not bothered about laps. Just keeping an eye on the heart rate. All that said, welcome to Monday. It's another week going out and doing a 10K before work today. Just taking it nice and easy. How's your weekend been? Did you get up too much? Let me know in the comments below. I've just done that unusual thing that we runners do. I just turned a different way. Never been this way before. So it's something new. That's what's enjoyable about running, just finding new routes. Unfortunately, this has got hills in it. Now, crack on. Hi guys, welcome to Tuesday. Um, just a quick update from yesterday. Didn't do much filming because I just wanted to get out and do, do the run and enjoy it because uh, that's what's happening at the moment. I'm really enjoying the runs, running a lot slower and just enjoying it and then doing that one uh, speed session a week, which also makes you really ready for it when you get to do it. So yesterday, as I say, taking it easy, uh, heart rate zone two. I was in the easy zone for something like 80% of the run, which was great. It sneaked into the aerobic zone a few times, but that's because the course that I ran yesterday were a few hills on it. So a little bit more work needed there. So all in all, an enjoyable session yesterday. So now it's Tuesday, coming somewhere different. Um, Heron's Reach Golf Club in Blackpool. Um, just going for a run around the outside of it on a, a semi-trail. So uh, please come and join me for that. Uh oh, trouble at the mill. I think I might have to find an alternative route. Don't fancy going through that. I did it once uh, when we were doing a night run round here at Halloween. And it's a lot deeper than you think. So, uh, so yeah, don't fancy going through that today. I know I've got waterproof socks on, but I don't think they'll be good enough. So, right, let's find an alternate. We'll leave the lower path, sorry, the outer path, and we'll go up onto the uh, inner path. Make our way through. Let's wait around. And away to the outer path. That's uh, isn't quite as muddy, so we'll do this one. Hi guys, welcome to Thursday. We're on Blackpool Promenade again because today we are going to be doing intervals. Now, 
Uh, I saw an interval session on Tim Gross's channel um, earlier this week where he did 12 times one minute with one minute recoveries. I thought, yeah, I'll do that. And then I thought, no, I won't because I'm not that fit yet. So what I'm going to do is an interval session and I'm going to do eight times one minute with one minute recovery. Um, you can probably hear it across the microphone, uh, but there's a bit of wind down today. Yeah, about 17 mile an hour wind from the south southwest. So basically, running that way, running into the wind. But on the way back, this way, it'll be wind assisted. So we'll see how we go. So uh, yeah, we're going to do that interval session in just a moment. I'm just going to do a little bit of a warm up just to cool down since I've arrived here. So I'm going to do another bit of a warm up, uh, get some heat back into the legs, and then we're going to get underway with this interval session. Let's see how we do. Best laid plans and all that. Um, the Garmin. has decided to say saving and it's been like that for about five minutes now which is really good so we're still going to do the interval session we're going old school I've got the stopwatch with me so I'm going to time it manually and not on the watch so uh, yeah we'll see how we do So uh, father's just run into the distance, following the sunset. I expect he'll be back in about a minute's time. However, looking at it, uh, he's very far away. And I don't want to run after him again, because I'm not as good as he is. I don't expect him to use any of this footage, but I'm bored and he's left me here to sit by myself, so I've got to fill the time somehow. And he's put a camera in front of me, so this is what happens. He stopped running, he's walking now, so I'm assuming he's going to start legging it back any second. Can he peep? I tell you what, I didn't hold much stock in GoPros, but I have to watch some of his videos. The quality of this stuff is, is good. Sound and on video. I think he's coming back in a minute. Is he? No. He's doing some pacing. I would show you, but you're not going to see him. There you go, look at the black dot. Black dot of green legs, don't know if you can see it. Six down, two to go, and it's starting to get to me now. Especially the wind again, it's going that way. We're just two left. Hi guys, welcome to Friday. Just a little bit of feedback from yesterday's uh, interval session. First of all, I got a Garmin fixed. Had to do a hard restart once I got home. It wasn't doing anything while I was out. So I think the signals might have been a bit iffy down on the prom. But we managed to get it uh, hard restarted when I got home. So the Garmin's back up and running. So today, just out on an easy run keeping that heart rate down in the easy zone, keeping it in the blue. Just going out and doing four miles. Uh, the feedback from that session yesterday was uh, 
really enjoyed it it was hard running against the wind as you can see from the video so one way was really hard work coming back with the wind behind was just hard work if you see what I mean so Strava put it at an average 7.30 pace but that's also including the uh, walking around in the one minute rests but my pace my fastest pace during those intervals was uh, 6.40 6 minutes 40 which I was pleased with so yeah an enjoyable workout legs feel okay today no doms uh, not fatigued as such they just feel like they've been used so yeah just go out and do uh, four miles Hi guys, welcome to Saturday. The uh, wind's dropped. It's only about 14 miles an hour now. There's no rain. So I'm going for that long run now, as opposed to having to do it on Sunday, when it's going to be a lot windier and a lot wetter. So yeah, getting out, getting it done. Going for half marathon distance, but keeping it easy. See you in a while. So there you go, another solid week, 31 miles in total. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, got to be probably going for about another two weeks of this, mixing up hills and speed just to build the strength up. And then once we've done that, I'm going to start increasing the volume. So let's see uh, if we can increase the mileage as well. So really feeling great, really feeling positive after such a great couple of weeks. So thank you very much indeed for watching. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to watch the live stream I did last week with Chris Hollingshead, a great UK athletics coach, very funny, very entertaining, and lots of great information in that uh, live stream we did last Tuesday. If you missed it, I'll put in a link in the description below so you can go and catch up on that. So as always, thank you very much indeed for watching. Thank you very much indeed for spending the time and getting to the end of this video. Really do appreciate it. If you haven't done so already, if you could please hit subscribe, that would be fantastic. Don't forget to turn on your bell notifications so you find out every time I upload new running content. And if you can give this video a thumbs up, give us a like, it will help the channel immensely. So thank you very much indeed. Don't forget to join me this Tuesday for another live stream. You can find out details about that on my YouTube channel now. I will see you again very soon. Till then, let's get running 